I keep nursing this love-hate attitude toward Led Zeppelin, partly from genuine interest and mostly indefensible hopes, in part from the conviction that nobody that crass could be all that bad. I turn to each fresh album expecting, what? Certainly not subtle echoes of the monolithic yardbirds, or authentic blues experiments, or even much variety. Maybe it's just that they seem like the ultimate 70s calf of gold. The Zepp of all bands surviving are today, their music is as ephemeral as Marvel Comics and as vivid as an old Technicolor cartoon. It doesn't challenge anybody's intelligence or sensibilities, relying instead on a pat visceral impact that will ensure absolute stardom for many moons to come. Their albums refine the crude public tools of all dull, white blues bands into something awesome and its very insensitive grossness, like a Cecil B. DeMille epic. If I rely so much on visual and filmic metaphors, it's because they apply so exactly. I've never made a Zep show, but friends describe a thunderous, near undifferentiated tidal wave of sound that doesn't engross, but envelops to snuff any possible distraction. Their third album deviates little from the track laid by the first two, even though they go acoustic on several numbers. Most of the acoustic stuff sounds like standard Zep, graded down decibel-wise, and the heavy blitzes could have been outtakes from Zeppelin II. In fact, when I first heard the album, my main impression was the consistent anonymity of most of the songs. No one could mistake the band, but no gimmicks stand out with any special outrageousness, as did the great, gleefully absurd orangutan plant come wheezing guitar freakout that made whole lot of love such a pulp classic. Immigrant Song comes closest, with its bulldozer rhythms and Bobby Plant's double-tracked wordless vocal croonings echoing behind the main vocal, like some cannibal chorus wailing in the infernal light of a savage fertility rite. What's great about it though, the Zepp's special genius, is that the whole effect is so utterly two-dimensional and unreal. You could play it as I did, while watching a pagan priestess performing the ritual dance of Ka before the flaming sacrificial altar and fire maidens of outer space with the TV sound turned off. And believe me, the Zep made my blood throb to those jungle rhythms even more frenziedly. Celebration Day and Out on the Tiles are production line Zep churners that no fan could fault. And no one else could even hear without an effort. Since I've Been Loving You represents the obligatory slow and lethally dull seven-minute blues jam. And Hats Off to Harper dedicates a bottleneck and shimmering echo chamber vocal salad to a British minstrel who, I am told, leans more towards the music hall tradition. Much of the rest, after a couple of listenings to distinguish between songs, is not bad at all, because the disc Zeppelin are at least creative enough to apply an occasional pleasing Philip to their uninspiring material and professional enough to keep all their recorded work relatively clean and clear. You can hear all the parts, which is more than you can say for many of their peers. Finally, I must mention a song called That's The Way, because it's the first song they've ever done that has truly moved me. Son of a gun, it's beautiful. Above a very simple and appropriately everyday acoustic riff, Plant sings a touching picture of two youngsters who can no longer be playmates because one's parents and peers disapprove of the other because of long hair and being generally from the dark side of town. The vocal is restrained for once. In fact, Plant's intonations are as plaintively gentle as some of the rascal's best ballad work, and a perfectly modulated electronic drone wails in the background like melancholy harbor scows as the words fall soft. As sooty snow, and yesterday I saw you standing by the river, I read those tears that filled your eyes, and all the fish that lay in dirty water dying, had they got you hypnotized. Beautiful, and strangely enough, Zep. As Sage Barry declared eons ago, it sure goes to show you never can tell.